Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Chai Access, and today, this video, we are in my kitchen. We're going to do the uh, pan de jamon recipe. It's this recipe. It comes from my friend Alejandro and Claudia, and they are from Venezuela. Hi guys, I'd like to uh, introduce you my friend Alejandro and Claudia. Say hi. hi. Hello everyone! <laughs> they are my friends here and they were going to teach me how to cook the pan de jamon. Is yeah. that correct? Yeah? yeah. Claudia? Yes. They are it's just two and three. The best food. <laughs> okay, let's try it. Bye guys. Okay? <laughs> Bye. So, they showed me the video and this is my first time to do this uh, uh, food. And um, I think it's very tasty and yummy and so easy to make, I think. So, uh, let's do this together. And let's try how to make this pan de jamon from Venezuela. Okay, let's go. Let's try now. So guys, uh, basically all the ingredients is easy to find in your grocery stores, especially when you are in the UK. If you don't want to um, uh, make your own pastry, pop pastry, or pre-rolled pastry sheet, you can buy it in uh, Morrison, Aldi, uh, I think Lidl. They have this uh, special pop pastry. It's a pop pastry, guys. So, I think it will be a big, uh, it's a big save of your time when doing this because it's, all you need to do is this one, pay a pop pastry, uh, cook ham, whatever ham you have in, you find in your grocery store, and bacon. Uh, I, I choose the smoke one, and the raisins, and then the olives. So, just all we need to do is prepare our pan and by the way we also need one egg or this is later so so let's do let's do this now guys let's go let's try this now and then ham next so we're going to roll this I, I think uh, I'm just going to put the ham that I want it's up to you how many and then I'm gonna put the bacon again and then and that's it oh I think it's going to be like this so it will be even and balanced then and ham again it's up to you how many you wanna put but for me I'm just going to put uh, three or I can add later if I want to but for now this is I'm going to put it's up to you how many I'm gonna put and then ham We stuff it. Uh, very tasty now, I think. And then uh, we prepared the egg already for uh, garnishing later, I think. And then we add our olive. I saw in the video they put the. It depends where you put the olives, but I prepared it uh, line. And 
on the video. If you're a fan of olives, uh, you can put many as you want. Um, but for me, for now, I will try one line. So, let's do this like this. And it's so cheap. The olive is so cheap here. So, that's why I'm going to add more in here. But I think that's enough. So the reason I saw them to put just wherever you want, like scattered them. I found a raisin, so I, I want this as many as I want. But if you are not, you can put only some. I think it gives uh, a little of sweetness in your pandamon. Oh. So the ingredients is so easy to find in the grocery store, so it's fun to do, easy to mix also. And this is enough. That's enough raisins, I think. Just a little bit scattered. Okay, I found that one. Let's see evenly. And then I, by the way guys this is the first time I'm going to do this but I tasted already when Jackie gave me one last year and then we just talk about the food that they make last Christmas they cook last Christmas and they one of their uh, food that they cook last Christmas is pandemon so I said oh I want to try this one that's why they gave me and showed me how to do it I think that's enough too many raisins that's fine I'm fond of raisins I like it so that's it uh, just ready your garnishing egg later so we're going to fold this this way we need to remove on the uh, paper of course so I think this is the hard one to roll it we need to roll make sure it's gonna roll properly especially the olive I put it on the bottom first
it's super super yummy. Excited to show you. So this is what we got. So I think that's all the I'll show you. See? It's so beautiful. I think I will get the way I want it to be. <laughs> so still what oh, looks like crunchy. It's still hot, so we need to cut it later or no, I'm not sure. Maybe we'll cut it now. Oh, it's crunchy, it's crunchy. I don't know. Still hot. This is the I think we need to uh, wait a little bit of we need to wait until it's cool. I just show you how it works and I like it. It's very crunchy. See outside is very crunchy. It's like a banana. Mm. Mm. I think I, I made it properly. I cook it properly, I think. It's, I think I, it's exactly 48, so it's like 40 minutes. So they said it's 30 to 45 minutes to cook this one. But when I see the outside textures, I think I need to take it out in the oven. So And I think it's already cooked, so I take it out in the oven. Alejandro, uh, I think I made it uh, in a simple way because I think the pastry, I think it's better to be like my recipe bread. But if you're gonna add, you're in a hurry, in a rush to make it, you can buy in the grocery store like what I did. But the only, um, as a first time, it's not bad uh, doing this pandehamon. But the next time, I think the, um, I think that what I'm going to do is. Uh, the bacon that I will buy, I think it should be not too fatty and uh, not too many. I think I put many uh, stuffing uh, bacon, so it's like full of, but the taste, it's, it's so yummy, so it's fine. So And inside, there's a little bit of wet and the uh, bread is not expanding too much inside, but the taste, it's it's so yummy. It's still the same that, that what I taste when Jackie gave me last year because all the ingredients are there pastry and my own ingredients so not too bad you're not gonna buy in the uh, grocery store the pop pastry so it's fine so for now 
I'm gonna enjoy eating it. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment down below, and don't forget to click the notification bell for you always updated on all my next videos. So, see you next time, guys. Bye. God bless us all. Thank you for watching. Meanwhile, watch my friends and the bloppers. <laughs> A todo eso para Venezuela, no olviden suscribirse. Darnos like. Comentar. Adiós. <laughs> Thank you for watching. <laughs>